Hello everybody. So, so far we have covered five videos. We have created five videos in this series of NLP, right? And this one is going to be the sixth one. So if you have not seen all these videos so far, I highly recommend you to please have a look on this. If you don't want to watch them all in detail, you can just watch them in fast forward mode or maybe in double speed or so but if you watch them that's gonna be more beneficial right but if you're someone who has directly landed on this video that's still fine let's continue with this you will enjoy it okay and you would get the concept how to do the bag of words all right so in this video we're gonna learn how to create the bag of models sorry bag of words okay and do the modeling on that so primarily here we will be trying to achieve the sentiment analysis and for that what i'm going to do is on kaggle we have one data set which is for imdb um imdb review data set that's the imdb data uh, data set right which we're gonna take and in that we have the reviews written by the customers basis on that we're gonna find out which reviews are negative and which new reviews are positive right so primarily in this data frame if you go and check out so in this data frame you are going to get five columns right four are a string one is integer right so integer is something that is uh, i guess index then you get uh, this column type review label right so all this type of columns you have available uh, rather i would like to explain this in uh, while we are doing it in jupyter notebook because that that's where it makes more sense all right so i have already downloaded this data right other than that other than downloading the data, I'm going to start it from absolutely scratch so that you get an understanding how to start with it. Because most of the time it happens that you understand how to build the model, which looks pretty straightforward. But the work which is involved behind that, that is something more time consuming, right? So that's what I'm going to cover over here, right? Uh, in this, so we are just going to start it from the scratch. So if you are directly landing on this video, still this is going to be fine right let's start with it so first of all let me show you where i have my data downloaded so here i have that same data downloaded this is csv file okay now let's just start it so here i'm just going to start with importing pandas as pd import numpy as np <coughs> all right so this is it i am done with importing it next thing uh I need to import the data right so let's call it i'm just going to call it tf let's say pd dot read csv and inside that i'm just going to put the location of my data set which is this then the file name which will be this oops dot csv and because it's i wanted to read it as a raw string so that's what i would like to do let's see if this gives an error wow it just gave the error here it says utf8 code can't decode etc etc right so for that what we can use is we have another option let's call it encoding encoding and i would say i iso double eight five double nine one let's see if this works no that is not working let me figure it out what is the exact code let me try this all right so it worked right so like you saw how we got the error while importing the csv file so there could be possibility that i covered to build the model but when you down when you try to import this data you get the error right and then you are stuck how to proceed further so that was the purpose see that was the purpose i wanted to cover from this scratch so that you understand and uh, learn how to fix the problems so if you are surprised how did i get to know this thing so it's very obvious i just 
googled it okay for example let's say i am going to import it again right and when whatever error that you are getting this one you just copy this and put it on google and you're gonna get this right so that's what i also did and i got to know this thing right so this is how you can find a fix of it okay now after this let's have a look on the data frame how does it looks like all right so here is what we are seeing now if you see this column is not needed and this column is also not needed right so what we require is these three this type preview and label so i will drop them over here drop so what happens is when you import the data in uh, pandas right so it gives a name to any of the blank column but ideally in your data in csv file this is a blank column name right so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to supply a list of column names which are you know which i don't want to have in my data frame okay right over here so next one will be file so these two are something which I am not interested in having in my data frame. And then you say access equals to one. Let's see if this works. At least should work, but here it is giving the error. Let's just see what is the error. Okay. Here it is saying this particular column is not found. Let's just see. I will just do this. Now it should work. oops right let me try doing one thing let me try to take this column name and see if that accepts looks like it's gonna work yeah it just worked all right so here we got that next thing which comes is now we need to think from this column for this column so this is type so in this data if i show you this shape of this data okay let me show you the shape of this data display df dot shape and over here display this so the benefit of using display is you would be able to see both of these two things together okay so now in this data if you see we have this many uh, there's these many rows and three columns okay now you want to see what all that we have over here okay so let's just try that as well i'm going to say let's say display and into that i would say display dot type dot value count value counts let's see if this works okay values count I think that's what the function is okay here is the problem Oops. U -A. all right we got that so you see over here it has two values right train and test so train has 75,000 records and test has 25,000 records so what we will do is we will split this data because in this data itself it has given the flag which set of data you can use for testing and which set of data you can use for training right so we got we will be splitting the data in the same way so i hope that you would have tried some basic modeling techniques right initially so the way we split the data in train and test part same way we will be doing it here but here in the data itself it has given the test segment and trend segment so we will be using that only so now i'm going to see what all are the values that we have in this label column okay so let's just try that as well instead of type i'm just going to say label all right so here we got that value as well so in label we have three type of values unsupported negative and positive so unsupported is something which doesn't make much sense for us right so what we will do is we will be keeping negative and positive values only all right so let's just remove the negative uh, sorry unsupported from uh, from this data and then consider uh, can continue with negative and positive values all right so if you see 50 percent of the data is unsupported right so we're gonna remove that let's just try that so i would create another data frame which is called filtered and over here i would say df dot query and in that i'm going to say 
not equals to unsupported this one all right so this is how we use the dot query function right to um, i mean apply the where logic the way you uh, you use where condition in sql same way you can use query over here right now let's just execute this and right so here we are done with writing the query let's just execute this and see what is it that we're gonna have in filtered data now uh, the variable name is going to be label dot value counts now we have only negative and positive wonderful isn't it next work comes is see this is something which we are making the model and model this okay before we proceed further like you can see this is the review which will be your independent variable and this is the output right so this is going to be dependent this particular variable is dependent on this means this is the outcome of this statement okay so this is going to be um, th this is going to be the output so uh, in our in our modeling terms we usually refer this as y and we refer this as x right this variable we uh, we want to be using right this is just a flag now let's just try to you know um, because this is character variable we need to convert it in binary right rather one or zero because that's what we want where zero will be negative and one will be positive how can we do that so let's call it label label and after that we are going to create a sorry we are just going to convert this all right so how can we convert that let's just try hmm? so for that what we will do is this dot apply and over here i am going to call lambda x and i want to say zero if x equals to negative all right so if x has the value negative x i uh, to this variable i'm selecting this variable from filter data frame label variable i'm selecting and on that i'm applying this function how i'm applying i'm considering this variable as x so simply i'm saying z produce zero if x equals to negative else i want to say it else one that is it right now let's just see how it's gonna look like filtered dot head and logic wow now you can see this right it just converted now again let's do the value count value counts and see now you have this thing converted 25,000 with uh, negative response and 25,000 with positive response this data is this data looks quite balanced or maybe you can say bias i'm not sure right but uh, for now we are just going to continue with this type of data right whatever we have we will be continuing with that hmm? next thing which comes in is you know transforming i mean uh, separating this data into part test and uh, train and test okay let's just do that so i would say train it's very simple right we can just put a filter on the train and test and then we can just have a look right so here i'm just going to say train and for that i would require to call this particular data frame name train dot query and inside that i'm just going to say that type equals to train right and then i would to validate that i would use this I, I i would use whether this has any other thing or not right value counts okay now let's just see how does it looks like all right now in the training data we have only twenty five thousand trainings okay same thing we are just going to do for test so here i would say test and here i would say test let's just try for test we have 25,000 in test set as well. So we are done with creating two set of data. Now let's just have a look. How does this data looks like? Train dot, you know, head. So this is how this data is looking like. 
now we don't require this particular column right so what i would do is here itself i would say drop and here i'm going to say type axis equals to one same thing i will apply on this part as well so first we are using the type column to you know filter the data and then we are dropping that in the later stage now you see we have only two columns right review and label in trend set and in test set as well but now further we require to split train data also and test data as well so how can we do that what is the split that we require because this is the independent and this is dependent so we need to separate them so i'm just going to say x trend all right and then in the x trend i can store train all right and out of train i'm just going to take the review columns only and i can say values let's see if this works I, I i only want to pick the values and nothing else so that should idly be stored as this is it giving the error if yes then still we can continue yeah that looks like it worked train yeah so it just worked right now we have this as a list so let's just check out the type of this it's a numpy array perfect same thing we're gonna do for x test and for that the column which we're gonna use is what was the column label all right and let's just test x test here's what we get right zero one zero one zero one etc now that we are done with you know splitting the data there is one more thing which i want you to see train let's just see the zeroth observation all right so here it is looking pretty well now if you remember we in the previous videos we learned you know um in in the previous videos we learned in a, what exactly that we do in bag of words basically we create a vocabulary right and basis on that once we are done with creating the vocabulary we score that and basis on that we can apply any of the modeling technique right either naive bias or you can apply decision tree whatever fits well right that you can apply over here but for now uh, our, our first purpose is to you know do the feature extraction right how to do the feature extraction uh, if you don't understand what feature extraction is i would highly recommend you to check out the fifth video which is this right this video right this will help you understand that now let's just start with that from sklearn dot, dot feature extraction dot text import this all right so now we are done with importing the count vectorizer all right now we will vectorize this train data and then we will perform uh, the th then we will take it forward from there all right so this is it in this video let's continue